What's up guys, welcome back to Barfly Free Pour, the channel where we make all your cocktail dreams come true. Today we have a very, very special episode. Um, this is not a sponsored episode or anything, but a friend of mine uh, named Mickey Cristola, who is an ex-varnish bartender, started a company called New Fashioned. These are powdered cocktails. So it is what they call a dry cocktail. I don't know, I don't know if I open this one, but I definitely open this one. So it is a packet of dry ingredients that you just add booze to and you make a cocktail out of it. Usually I'm pretty suspicious of stuff like this. You know, Marius has been trying to get me to try powdered cocktails from REI for a really long time. Mm -hmm. He went so far as to buy some, we haven't tested them yet. But then when I saw this uh, and, and who made it, I decided that we needed to try this. We, we had to try it. Yeah, you might know her from the episode Vatican City. Yes, so Mickey Cristola, I was gonna get into that. Mickey Cristola is an ex-varnish bartender who then opened the bar Streamliner. It was her work at Streamliner that really inspired this uh, approach to cocktails. Streamliner was a bar that not only was named after a very famous train, but also streamlined cocktails. So a lot of things were served uh, batched basically on tap and stuff. They did a fantastic job. Their cocktails were amazing. And so I'm really hopeful for this product. I gotta say, if you're watching, Mickey, I'm a little dubious about this. I think a lot of people have tried to do this and have failed at it. But I think that if anyone could do it, you definitely could do it. And I'm very excited to try it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut well, this one open. because well, Let's do the old fashioned. You wanna do the old fashioned? Because that's the one you keep saying. Whenever I judge anything, a bar or whatever, it's the that's old right. fashioned. Actually, yesterday I said the very same I thing. I know, I know. The yardstick by which mm -hmm. I, but I, I'm more in the mood for a margarita well, and there's two flavors right now. Tough titties. Yeah. We have All to right, do so we're the, doing the old fashioned. Yeah. But yeah, I also just wanna say that uh, she gave me some uh, garnishes and a little swizzle stick. I don't know if these are sold separately. I don't think they come with each one. Each one of these boxes has seven packets inside of it. So it's 25 bucks. So seven drinks for 25 bucks is, that's, that's pretty good. I don't know. I mean, there's minus science. Minus the booze though. Well, minus the booze, yeah. But th this is assuming that you already have the booze at your house, right? But I think that that's pretty good. All right, so it comes with some instructions. Pretty straightforward. Um, basically, all you have to do is uh, tear the packet open. We'll, sit, we'll scissor it open. Okay, so, and then we pour in our powder, right? And it says very, very explicitly, do not inhale this, it's for your drinks, guys. All right, and then we're gonna add our booze. So you wanna add 50 mils of booze, which is about the size of one of these guys. So we're just gonna add it in here like so, and then we're gonna mix it with the end of a spoon, or if you have a mini whisk, you can do that too. I'm gonna make sure that, I'm assuming we wanna make sure that this is like completely dissolved. I don't know if I said this, this isn't a sponsored video, but uh, I was definitely sent this stuff to try. And I'm excited to try it. All right. That seems like a very little bit of booze for this big, big glass though. Um, but that's okay, because we're gonna displace some of the surface area with ice. I just wanna shape this ice a little bit. I'm gonna use a little knife to shape it. You know what's kind of cool about these though? You know what you could do? Is you could keep these like in your pocket or your purse or whatever. And then you go to a friend's house and you know like, oh, that friend doesn't really make cocktails very well. So you just have this on you and then you just, add, they're like, oh, what do you want to drink? You're just like, oh, just give me some whiskey neat and just, just pour me like a couple ounces of whiskey. So they give you some whiskey neat and then you just pour this in and then you could just like have an instant cocktail at a party. All right, let's, are we going to try this or what? You think it's going to be better than the, uh, that uh, on the rocks? No. What was that one? The bottled one? Yeah, it was on the rocks. Yeah, that was the on the rocks. Which the on the rocks one wasn't bad. Should I put an orange twist on this? I kind of feel like I should. Or should I just drink it first and then put an orange twist on it? Drink it how it was intended, right? Well, but that doesn't, does it say not to garnish it? I mean, you want to garnish it. give it a dry garnish. Well, we're going to drink it first and then we'll put it, we'll put the, because it's going to be missing the, although maybe the orange is dried up in here. You never know. All right. Okay, let's try this. I'm uh, I'm very hopeful for this. I want this to work because I know the person who made it. Don't lie. No, that's pretty, f I'm not gonna lie. I'm just so surprised. That is freaking good, dude. That's really good. Do you wanna taste this, Marius? Do you think I'm just doing that for the camera? I, I'm... Uh... What, uh, is it like different than the... Uh... On the rocks one? It's just so complex. It is missing, I don't know if there's any, I can't know if there's any citrus in here and I kind of want to put an orange twist on it, but 
You get the bitterness of the Angostura. You get this really nice, like vanilla flavor. And I'm not sure if that's just the ingredients of the packet that are kind of moving through the, the whiskey and creating this nice flavor profile, or if it's just like, like if one's accentuating the other or something, I don't know why I said moving through, but you know, one's accentuating the other, or if it's just the packet alone. I mean, I can definitely taste the whiskey. Obviously the whiskey is at the forefront of the, of the, of the flavor profile, but If I was given that at a bar, I would be like, yeah, that's an old fashioned. I mean, it's really good. You know, I'm not gonna say that this is as nuanced as an old fashioned that you make, but this came out of a packet and that's pretty amazing. So I gotta say big thumbs up on this. I, I, I think that we should taste the margarita. Yeah, let's do the margarita. I mean, it takes like two seconds to make it. So. I know, it's, it's wonderful. Oh, that is a much bigger packet. Ooh. A little, a little bit more. Casamigos, no less, huh? Hey, hey. All right, here we go. I mean, is this the future? Oh, it's like pink grapefruit. Oh, whoa, that's strong. That's good. You know what's great about these kind of packet things is that the vibrancy of flavor is just really there. With packet cocktails, which I have tasted a couple, they don't. They tend to be watered down and sort of flat in flavor. And this really, really, really is very vibrant and very, and it tastes like fresh ingredients, which I don't know how they did it. One thing that I also like about these, um, these drinks that I've had, the packets that, that we've had so far, and I'm not sure if she gave me the brands that they recommend with it, but the margarita really accentuates the flavor of the tequila. So there's like a bunch of vanilla notes inside the Casamigos that is really accentuated and brought out by what is in their kind of pink margarita. And also the flavor profile of the Evan Williams was also brought out by the ingredients in the packet, which I really like. They work well together. It's very nicely balanced drink. So uh, two thumbs up. Uh, I will leave a link below to their website so you guys can check it out for yourself if you want to. I highly recommend these things for cocktails in a pinch. I think I'm definitely going to be taking these on a camping trip or something with me soon when I go camping. Stamp of approval. That's all I gotta say about that, I think. Marius thinks that a lot of people don't realize that we have two channels. So uh, just so you know. <laughs> This, is this isn't channel. the Educated Barfly, it's our other channel. This is our second channel, Barfly Free Pour. Yeah, I don't know, uh, I love these, they're great. Uh, so if you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com for our merch, our virtual bottle program, articles, fun stuff. Yay, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys another time.